Right everyone, Web Collector here. I thought I'd do a full review on the Junzing Dracon 100 pound compound carbine crossbow. So this is the Dracon. I call it a carbine because it's, you know, it's a very small crossbow really. It's a lot smaller than a full size crossbow and really not much bigger than a pistol crossbow, especially the pistol crossbows you can buy that have a stock on them. I'll just show you a quick comparison of that. So this is a Tomcat 2 with a stock extender on and if you compare it to the Dracon you know they're pretty much the same size although this one is slightly longer than it would be when you bought it. I'll show you it next to a Horizon Redback but it's a very small little crossbow really. So when you get the package, you get the crossbow and the holographic sight with it, which is a good bonus really. And it's a very good quality sight. Well, as far as I'm aware, it's a good quality sight. It's certainly better than some of the red dot and holographic sights I've had with other crossbows. So it's 26 inches long and has a extendable sort of AR-15 type stock. So you press the little handle up and it will adjust to four different positions. So the crossbow when it's fully extended is now 26 inches. So you get about three inch sort of extension there. It's got an ambidextrous handle and ambidextrous safety and ambidextrous cocking um, lever, cocking string on this. So to cock the crossbow, you pull this handle back and it's set up with pulleys so that when you draw it, it is a lot lighter than the actual 100 pound limbs. And I've done a test on this and what you're pulling is around about 35 pounds. So it's a hell of a lot less than the actual poundage of the limbs. So talking about the limbs and the front end of the crossbow, they're about 10 and a half inches wide and about nine inches long. The actual power stroke on this is about six and a half inches. The body of the crossbow, as far as I'm aware, is either steel or aluminium with ABS for the pistol grip and the stock. You have a Picatinny weaver rail here for mounting on the sight. And you have a handle at the front, and the handle at the front is probably the only thing I don't like about this crossbow because uh, even if you tighten it up it, it moves quite easily. But there is a way around this, you can easily fit a Picatinny rail on the bottom and in that way you can put your own handle on, you can put torches on, probably a bayonet if you wanted to. Lots of things could then be mounted underneath, but currently when you buy this it doesn't have the picketing rail at the bottom, but it's really easy to um, to fit. It does take its own proprietary bolts, um, but they're not that expensive. You can get them for around about six for eleven pound, which is actually reasonably cheap for sort of proprietary bolts. Now I have seen people shooting standard pistol bolts out of these type of crossbows but um, I'm really not sure whether they're designed for that. One other potential downside that you can get with compound crossbows is that it's difficult to change the strings yourself but with this crossbow that shouldn't be an issue. Where I bought this from Merlin Archery and I've seen this on quite a few other websites you can buy a small set of arms that fit on this that you connect on, you connect them together and then you can easily change the strings. So the string is really easy to buy and cheap and the, um, the little bow press is about 20 quid as well. So the fact that you could change the strings on this easily at home is quite a bonus to me. The holographic sight, as I mentioned, comes with it. It has a battery and a spare battery, has green reticle and a red reticle, I think six or seven different brightness settings and four different actual reticles. So once you've set up the sight, how accurate is it? Well, very accurate in my opinion. Um, 
without really trying, um, I was getting a group about three inches, and I'll be honest, I wasn't that far away, but I was just giving it a quick test, not really, you know, really, really trying, but um, yeah, doing a bit of stand-up shooting, um, yeah, had a, it had a decent bit actually, really. Has quite a light trigger pull. I couldn't tell you how light, but it's a lot lighter than a lot of other pistol crossbows. And then we come to cocking the crossbow. So there's two methods you can use to cock the crossbow. One method is to put the front stirrup onto the floor, put your foot on it, and then pull upwards on the string. Or you can just literally hold the crossbow out or with the stock against your chest and cock it. So when you cock the crossbow it has these two little sort of arms here. When you pull the string they pop up. Can you see that? That little handle also has a magnet system on it. You can see there and under there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But there is a magnet there and there so that this will always snap back into position. Nice comfortable stock on there as well, fits the shoulder quite well. And you can get a nice eye line on the sight. And being adjustable should fit most people. So overall, very nice crossbow really. Costs around £220 and I think it's probably worth that. You don't get many you don't get many different types of small little carbine crossbows other than the Dunzo Dracon and the the FMA um supersonic, which are essentially the same crossbows anyway, just rebranded. Um I think you can get up to £120. This one's the one hundred pound version. But still very adequate, very powerful. So the bolts it shoots are these 13 and a half inch carbon bolts, around about two pound each, which isn't that expensive for um, proprietary bolts. I've known some bolts for crossbows to be a lot more than that, you know, getting onto three or four pound per bolt, and those other bolts don't last very long. Whereas these, I've shot these quite a few times now, and there's been no issues with the tips with the knocks or the flights hold up very well right so there you go that's the Jungzing Dracon 100 pound uh, pistol crossbow carbine crossbow costs about 220 quid I think and yeah well worth the money really it's definitely a step up from the uh, standard pistols Right, so I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you found it helpful, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and all that. If you do subscribe, don't forget to click the bell so that you get full notifications because YouTube have a habit of not sending my videos out to people. So if you do like crossbow videos and stuff like that, I do a lot of crossbow videos and weapon related stuff. So do make sure you click the bell. Alright, thank you for watching, see you later.